Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today's video was actually supposed to be filmed back in January. I had every intention of filming it back in January, but I just kept pushing it back. But I'm glad we're finally here because today we are going to be talking all about the Pantone color of 2023, which is Viva Magenta. I did a tutorial on last year's Pantone color, which you guys seem to really like. It was very peri. I'll have it linked up here and also down below as well so i wanted to do this every year and typically i would like to do it at the start of the year but here we are in mid april which is all good because i definitely feel like i've seen a lot of pink this year already especially with the new barbie movie coming out i feel like it really is low-key the pantone color of the year i'm also going through a pink phase i have re-entered my pink era like i've always loved pink but I don't know, I'm really into it now. So today's video, I'm just gonna show you this makeup look here. It's my Viva Magenta look. Um, and we're just gonna go into my collection. I'm gonna show you what I have in my collection that is sort of magenta-like. And it's just gonna be a fun little makeup video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna start on the eyes first. As you can see, I did one eye off a camera. I did use a few palettes to achieve this but I would say the two most Viva Magenta palettes in my collection would first have to be the ColourPop Fine Feathered Palette. This is literally their nine pan monochromatic magenta palette. It has so many variation of different magentas. We also have some like berries and purples in there as well. I adore this palette and I definitely would recommend it's super affordable, it's ColourPop. And then the second palette I would say is my Fenty Beauty number no. four snap shadow in rose and I would say this is more of like a subtle take because it has that magenta at the center and then just around it you have complementary shades that will go perfectly with it this is more of like a toned down version something a little bit more wearable and less monochromatic whereas the ColourPop one is definitely very very monochromatic so we're just going to use a few products here just a super fun tutorial looking at a bunch of makeup so I'm actually going to start off with my eye primer first. I'm going in with my Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. I'm first just going to lay down a pink base. I'm using the shade Sleepover from the Fenty Beauty number no. 4 Snap Shadow. This is just a really nice like dusty baby pink. Also going to run that all over my lower lash line as well. And in the same Fenty palette, taking the shade Lil Miss, this is the Viva Magenta shade that I decided to go with. Honestly, I don't know if it's gonna be, you know, exactly Viva Magenta, but I think it's in that family for sure. I'm focusing this at the outer corners of my eyes, keeping it on my lid first, and then we'll slowly blend that up. I would love to know what you guys think of Viva Magenta being the Pantone color of the year. I feel like with the Barbie movie coming out, it kind of just fits so perfectly. And although like Barbie pink is, I feel like more baby pink maybe? Or is it quite Viva Magenta? Everyone is going through a pink phase. I'm going through a pink phase for sure. Pinks is nothing new. Magentas is nothing new in makeup either. Like it's so easy for me to find so much magenta and pink shades in my collection. Whereas last year when it was very peri, I feel like that was a little bit more tricky. We are also gonna take that onto my lower lash line as well. You guys know I like to make it a little straighter at the outer edge here. But yeah, I feel like with magenta, it's gonna be easier in makeup just cause you know, you can do eyeshadow, you can do blush, you can do highlight, you can do lips. But I think with very peri, it's a little bit harder, I feel like. No one's gonna wear like a very peri lip color. It's mostly just eyeshadow or packaging when it comes to makeup. I'm just using a pencil brush now just to blend that out. Then I'm gonna go into my Unleashia Glitterpedia palette in number seven, all of Peach Aid. This one just has hints of magenta, and I'm gonna take the shade Evening Sangria, and I'm placing this at the center of my eyes. The texture feels like a super shock, but it's so impactful. It has so much little glitters in it, and I think it just enhances that magenta shade and now i'm using the shade tweet me from the fine feathered palette from ColourPop. this is going to be out in a third shade also out in a corner shade as well it's just like a nice like light pink 
not necessarily magenta. And going back into the Unleashia palette, taking Pink Aurora, gonna use this to highlight my egg yourself. This is more of like a satin finish, so we are gonna layer, but I think it just has a nice brightness to it. And then of course I have to use glitter. I'm gonna be using this one from Colourpop. It's from their Lizzie McGuire collection. It's called Get A Gripped. And although it looks very magenta in the tub, um, the glitters do reflect a little bit more blue and green, but I feel like it just adds more dimension to our look. So just gently tapping to scatter around our eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and tightline my upper lash line. And using the shade Nest Egg from the Fine Feather palette, I'm going to use this to smoke out my wing. The perfect magenta wing eyeliner, honestly. And now using a cream gel liner from Colourpop, this is the shade Loverboy. Just going to use that at my tight line at the center and a little bit towards the outer third. And then for blush, I'm going to go into the Luna Beauty Nude Prism Blush Palette. And we're going to be mid-tone blushing, so that way the blush doesn't look too crazy because um, this palette does have like a magenta blush in here. But I'm going to go into Pink Prints first. And I'm using more of like a bigger brush. And essentially, I'm just going to apply that like all over my cheeks. This is like a lighter mauve. I kind of like press it underneath my eyes as well. And blend it back up. Then we're gonna go into the shade Kawaii, the Fuchsia, taking a smaller brush. Just gonna pinpoint it on the apples on my cheeks. And you can see like that just gives a more softer blend. Just going back into Pink Prince to just further blend everything together. And now I'm going to take this Judy Doll highlighter in the shade number 4. I'm going to use this to highlight my nose. It's a nice like silvery pink. So it's just going to tie the whole look together, I feel. But finally, on to lips. I have a lot of options here that I thought I could just watch for you. So the first one, I think this one's a really good option. It's the Unleashia Non-Sticky Dazzle Tint. This is number 12. I love this formula and it's like a really nice magenta shade. I have this gloss from Laura Mercier, the shade Rose Syrup. This would be like a nice topper. This one's a little bit more pink and the Unleashia one has a bit more peachiness like watermelon. I got another gloss. This one's from M Cosmetics in Lotus Blossom. It's their True Gloss formula. This one's more of like a liquid lipstick uh, gloss type of formula. It kind of does lean a little bit more pink than magenta, like nothing is super bright. We got this one from Colourpop, the shade What If. This is a good magenta. Colourpop just has so many options. Uh, we got their lippy stick. This is the shade Runaway. Also a really nice option as well. These are, these are what I'm calling more magenta. I guess because these are more glosses, they're not so like vivid and magenta-like, whereas more of like the lipsticks. This one's another lippy stick. This is called I Heart This. These are definitely more magenta. These are a bit more pinky, got some peaches in there as well. So for my lip color, I'm gonna use my Flower Nose Cloud Lip Cream in Strawberry Moon as my base first. I feel like because everything is so pink and girly, I wanna do a gradient lip. I feel like this matches the look perfectly, like it's such a good pinky nude, but to add on the magenta, I'm gonna go in with the Kaleidos Cactus Flower. This has like a very blotted finish as well, similar to the Flower Nose. This is a really cute combo. Alright guys, here is the final Viva Magenta makeup look. What do you think? I feel like the eyes definitely lean a little bit more towards like a baby pink, but I always love a good pink look. I feel like pink really complements my skin tone. So having pink on my eyes, my cheeks, and my lips, I am absolutely living for it. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, if you could give the video a thumbs up. Let's bring back tutorials. So if you did 
enjoy, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much. But thank you so much for watching as always. I truly do appreciate it. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.